Let's welcome to another video lesson. Today, I'm gonna to play my video game and you're gonna learn a whole bunch of words. So let me tell you about this game. It is set in ancient Egypt, is set in. You can use that phrase to talk about where the story of a book, a movie, or even a video game takes place. Let me tell you a little bit about uh, the main character of the game whose name is Bayak. Bayak is a magi. You can tell that he's wearing a distinctive getup. You could use the word attire or getup. Getup is a bit more informal and used more humorously. So anyways, um, Bayak has an eagle is his sidekick that is perched on his arm, is perched on. So if you want to talk about how birds position themselves on stationary objects, you can use that phrase. What is Baya carrying? He's carrying a spear, a shield on his back, and he's got a sword somewhere. Yep, there you go, that blade. Okay, and uh, in this part of the game, I'll have to navigate this terrain. But first, I want to tell you about this bundle. This is a number of wheat stalks that have been bundled together, tied at the back and the top with pieces of reed. Okay, now to carry these bundles to a threshing room, right? A threshing room is where donkeys or oxen drove over these bundles, these sheaths, right? So that the grains would be separated from the stalks. And then the grains themselves would be processed even further. They were winnowed, winnowed. The chaff would be separated, the debris, right? So chaff, debris, these are more advanced words. Well, we're talking about an agrarian society. Now, some students sometimes ask me, what's the difference between agricultural and agrarian? So agrarian uh, captures a broader concept. It says something about the culture as well, maybe the politics involved, so on and so forth. So anyways, don't wanna bore you with too many details. I have a target that I should reach somewhere. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go to that destination directly, right? I don't want to uh, take a detour. So I'll just make a beeline. I'll sprint over to uh, get to my target. Anyways, I bet you've already learned quite a few words, especially if you're an advanced user of the language. If you have any questions, by all means, get in touch.